welcome back to my channel again. So, hi, how are you? Um, so, okay. We are gonna try something different. So, normally I don't get in my car. I don't. But, um, so if a lot of you guys have been watching my videos, you guys saw that I was doing kind of a hair routine of what I did with my hair and just the curl that I have. But I thought today, um, I know my last room transformation video, I didn't bring my camera, but this time I remembered. So we're gonna go ahead and just get my camera and we're gonna go into Walmart and we're gonna go just through some aisles and just find some hair masks that I would just love to try. Um, I'm gonna try and be stealthy. <laughs> Cause I have seen some YouTubers that get in trouble and some that don't. So I'm just gonna test it and just see how they respond to me. Um, I'm gonna have to be like really quick so I don't know how long the footage is gonna be. We're just gonna go and find some hair stuff and I still have to do grocery shopping as well. So what I might do is have to tape um, towards the end of my grocery shopping. I'll do all my grocery shopping and then do it towards the end um, just so I can be quick. And you guys can kind of see what I'm doing because I would feel bad doing the hair stuff first with all my video stuff and then kind of go grocery shopping. It'd make me look strange. <laughs> so we're gonna grocery shopping first um, or maybe not, maybe we'll do the hair stuff first. I'm gonna go in there and kind of feel the environment, but if you can see outside, you see just how bad this is. Look how foggy this looks. Do you see this? Like, if I back up, you guys can see just how bad this looks outside. So, um, there's like nobody outside right now, so I'm hoping it'll be empty, and if it is empty, there's a chance that the Walmart employees won't have anything to do, so they'll just watch me, but. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, and we're gonna go ahead and do this, and let's just hope this doesn't go very badly. <laughs> so I want everybody. Just to see this for a second. You guys can literally see how foggy this is. I mean, this is crazy how foggy. Like, look how dangerous this looks. I mean, I see people on the road, but I mean like, like both ways, this is so dangerous. Okay, so you guys, I mean, it just looks bad in general, so I'm gonna just go slow. Okay, so I'm here at the store and I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry it's really dark, okay. So I'm here at the store, and it looks like it is busy, thankfully, so I feel like I, people might not focus on me as much if I can just like try and be cool about it. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside and just see what happens. Um, I'm very scared, so I think I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this around my neck, because I do have my, my camera thing around my neck, um, or the cloth itself. So I think I might just put this around my neck, and I'm just gonna just kinda wander and be really cool about it. Um, obviously if anybody asks me what's going on, I might just have to tell them I'm gro- obviously I am grocery shopping. Just tell them I'm grocery shopping, I'm just trying to grab a couple things. Obviously we're gonna go and see because I don't know if I'll get kicked out or not. So you guys just might have to just go and bear with me about it. Um, if the camera is very shaky, that is why. I'm gonna just turn on the camera and just kind of walk my way around the store, get some fun, you know, grocery store footage and we're just gonna go ahead and just work with it. Um, I can't promise anything though, so let's just go and see what happens. Okay, so I'm here at the store, and and I'm trying to see what works. Um, so a lot of these I've used before, like the orange ones. I I really. the orange ones I've used before for my curly hair, but well, as I've been looking, I'm not seeing a lot of curl cream here, so that's the only problem. Like, I see a lot of... I'm seeing a lot of hair stuff, but I don't see... I 
And even these aren't for like, for hair conditioning. So I'm like kind of struggling. Cause listen, I want to find a deep conditioning mask. So we're going to go to the other side because they have more African-American stuff. Here we go. Okay, so the Walmart employee said this is the only Cantu stuff that they had and I'm just finding no deep conditioning stuff here. Like all the Cantu stuff is here. You can see there's the shampoo, there's the curl and the curl cream itself. Like the curl cream itself, there's only one mask and it's the deep conditioning mask but and then there's the leave-in conditioner and there's the smoothie and the gel, which I'm sure smoothie means hair, but yeah. I'm kind of getting a little disappointed. My Walmart doesn't really have a lot of stuff for a lot of like really thick hair, so I'm kind of getting a little disappointed here. So I'm not sure exactly what to do. Okay. So I'm getting a little disappointed. This is the only hair mask that they have here. So that's not what we might be stuck with and go home to try that. Cause I'm finding a lot of smoothies and deep conditioning or uh, leave-in conditioners that for styling and shampoos, but I'm just not really finding anything. So this might what we might just be stuck with. Cause I'm, I'm kind of struggling here. Cause there's a certain one I wanted. Uh, I wanted to try the Cantu conditioner or deep conditioning. And there was, Another one of this one from Shea Moisture. It was a different scent, and that's the one I want to try specifically for my hair, but I'm just not finding it. So we might just be stuck with me just getting whatever I can at this point and go home, test it, try it out, and just see how I feel about it. Oh, and I this is new. I did see this is new. So I'm in a bigger container of the deep like leave-in conditioner. Because originally what I do is I usually get like the like the smaller one, but for some reason they have a massive one here. So we're gonna go to the other side one more time and I'm gonna look and if I can't find it then we'll go ahead and just get this one and then we're gonna go home and we're gonna try it out. You guys are gonna have to just like let me just hear what I think because I'm struggling. I wanted the Jamaican castor oil one. Um but I'm just not finding it. Cause I do live in a set, like in, this, in, in Utah, it's more of a, I would say like 80% for me personally, I feel like 80% is like a lot of Caucasian. So because of that, there's not a lot of African American products. So compared to Los Angeles or su like a Southern state that has a lot of hair stuff for African American or black people. So I'm kind of struggling to find something for my hair, but we're gonna just have to just look. So I'm gonna be right back.
Okay, so here's some right here. Yeah, I'm just like not seeing anything. This is like becoming a super disappointing grocery like store attendant here because I'm just really getting kind of discouraged. So we gotta find something to use. Like these are them, but I don't like really using a lot of these. I think we're gonna have to Use the Shea Moisture and just stick with that and just see what happens. And then we're going to go home and just test it out. And you guys can go ahead and give me an opinion of what you guys think. So, we'll be back. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm back from the store and I changed my clothes and I'm comfortable now. And um, don't mind my cat in the video. So, today what we're going to go ahead and do is, um, I know you guys have me going to the store. And so... I know, we were kind of disappointed with the one that we ended up turning out with, those several of the hair masks that I wanted, but obviously Shea Moisture is the one that we're going to have to end up trying today. So yeah, this is the one we're going to have to go ahead and bathroom and just wash our hair out just really, really fast. Um, so yeah, so that's the one we're going to have to try today, so as you can tell, my hair already has a lot of different kind of scents and curl if you see a lot of my you know different modeling photos that are up here and again if you follow my Instagram which is also going to be on this side you can see my Instagram and if you do follow my Instagram you can see a lot of different like uh, the different textures of my hair my hair can do a lot of different thick you know different kinds of things so there's a lot of different things that happen with my hair and because there's a lot of things that happen with my hair, there's a lot of um, hair masks, there's a lot of things that have to go into my hair. So for that to happen, we're gonna have to go in, uh, obviously go to the bathroom, we're gonna test it out. But first, I've never used a Shea Moisture hair mask before. And because I have never used it, I would like to just smell it and get a feel for it and feel the texture of it, because I've never used it. I always use the Cantu. Cantu is my always uh, go-to, but I hear a lot of girls saying the Maui is not approved, it's not, you know, curly hair bot approved on those websites and stuff and things like that so that does make me a little nervous now that a lot of girls are telling me that they really don't use Mau uh, Maui even though it's great for my hair because the Maui hair mask and you know it brings out a lot of my curl as you can tell there's a lot of curl that it brings out in my hair so for that to happen I need to go ahead and be able to test the other one just to see how it feels for my hair but yeah so right now I love the cover of it it's very very pretty I love and and again, I have used the, the Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner for the castor oil. For some reason, my hair really struggled for some reason, which is why I like the Cantu. The Cantu wasn't hard. The Cantu, I really didn't struggle with too far. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't know, it's like the way my hair responded to it. I don't know, like you can see like my hair has a lot of curl, but yeah, for some reason my hair just seemed like it just really... It just really struggled with it. Like it almost felt almost dry afterwards. I don't know. I just really struggled with the texture. Like the smell was great. Like I didn't mind the smell, but man, every time I'd get out of the shower and then dry my hair, it just felt so dry within minutes. But the Cantu, I don't have that issue. It feels it just very soft and just very silky. I don't mind that issue too often usually. But yeah, I was I just really struggle with that. That just seems to really bother my hair on a lot of different occasions. So yeah, so right now I want to go ahead and just kind of look into the Shea Moisture. I'm gonna give it a second try. And again, if the hair mask doesn't work, I really am just not going to approve using it because this is something I really struggle with. Like I love their brand, their store behind the brand, their organic sense of brand. Like just everything about their company is amazing and who they are in general, but for some reason, my hair just, it can't take it. It's just very dry, and you would think with afro hair, my hair could take a lot of it, but for some reason, it can't, and I'm, I'm kind of struggling with it. It doesn't leave it very silky, it doesn't leave it soft, it's just very dry. So yeah, so let's go ahead and just go ahead and look into this. Anyway, so here's the cover so far, and I'm sure a lot of you have already used this before, but yeah, so this is the cover for right now. And 
And obviously the cover with this one, it says, um, let's see. So it says raw shea butter deep treatment uh, mask with shea kelp and argan oil for dry damaged hair to heal, grow, and strengthen. So I'm hoping this is gonna turn out good. So I know a lot of these have you know, the side stories on the side of them. So Shea Kelp um, also has a mineral rich um, nutrition seals in um, smooth hair uh, chitol. And the uh, Argan Oil, it also says restores shine while helping promote hair, um, you know, looking well. And Shea Bitter, uh, the Shea Butter, I'm sorry, deeply moisturizes well conditioning hair and scalp. So right now, I can tell it, it already popped off, which makes me kind of nervous if someone opened it. It's making me nervous if someone's already like literally just popped that off. That makes me nervous. Um, oh, um, I'm, <laughs> the smell is kind of hitting me. I mean, I'm not saying it smells great. I mean. I don't know, maybe it's the smell. The smell doesn't seem to be working with me very well. I don't know why. Anyway, so we're gonna go in the bathroom. We're gonna try it. You can see it here. So there it is. We're gonna go in the bathroom and we're just gonna go ahead and just try it. It is rock hard. I mean, it feels frozen a little bit in a way, which is not a very good first impression for me. Cause with my Cantu, at least it's smooth. I can just, get it up and into my hair, but this is kind of, I don't know, it just feels, I don't know, just very, I don't know, it's hard. I don't know if I really like that. Anyway, let's go in the bathroom and let's go ahead and just try this. Hey guys, I'm back. So I, if you watch my normal hair routine and my other videos with my Afro with my you know hair wash routine, you'll see me go in the bathroom and get my hair wet and do everything in there and I'll carry all of my lighting equipment in the bathroom. Like it's a lot of work in that video. But because I am very short on time right now because of all the vlogging I've done, I don't have a lot of time now on my camera. So we're gonna have to hurry and go through this really fast. So I went ahead, I just got my hair wet and I came back and you guys are gonna watch me put this in and I'm just gonna kinda of, kind of explain as I go along. Um, usually for my hair wash routines, I usually only do it for about 20 minutes. I leave it in and then that is it. But let's see how I feel just based on how this texture is. Cause right now, like I said, I, it just feels very hard. I don't know if it needs to sit in front of the heater for a little bit, but yeah. So let's go ahead and to see how it feels. Yeah, for some reason the smell's just not working with me. I don't know why. Wow. <laughs> um, huh. That is interesting, okay. There's definitely a lot of shine coming out of my hair. Huh, maybe I like misjudged this product. I don't know, maybe I did. Maybe I like misjudged something here. Huh, I don't know, maybe this is good. I don't know, this is, like I'm just not crazy about the smell. The smell is, just not working with me. I don't know why. I, I'm i just not crazy about the smell. It's, I don't know. I don't like it. Anyway, so... Hey guys, okay, so my 20 minutes of the hair mask sitting was long enough, and so I just washed out my hair, and I I definitely feel something. I don't know if it's the product, but I can tell that the Cantu feels a little bit different than this one, and that the Maui is different than this one. They both, they, all of them seem to have their own kind of texture in the hair, and kind of different, just a different slight of feel. But yeah, so, um, I'm obviously noticing smells are different in each container, the textures and grease, everything's a little bit different, but for some reason everyone kept 
recommending that I use the Shea Moisture just because that's what they are feeling a little is like a little bit different for them. And I'm not quite sure how I like it yet, but you can definitely tell that my curls are definitely beginning to stand out a little bit. You can tell my curls are definitely just out there. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any more uh, products at Walmart you would recommend that you would like me to try, then go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Maybe it's a food, maybe it's a hair product, maybe it's a makeup brand. Go ahead and recommend anything. Maybe we should do that. Have like a recommendation video all the time. But yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. Be prepared for so many more videos coming up that I'm editing right now. So there's going to be more videos to be coming here in the next couple days. And um, be prepared for Monday for a vlogging. I'm going to do it at Starbucks. So yeah, have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye!